All right, so just got done watching uh, Ricky Simone versus Song Yudong, and that was a fantastic fight, bro. It was a solid, solid fight. Really enjoyed that fight from start to finish. Um, it was looking like the fight was going to go to a decision. Song Yudong, in my opinion, was winning every single round. Um, but then he ended up stopping Ricky Simone in round number five. Um, now, what I wanted to talk about with this fight is um, this philosophy of moving forward against a grappler, against somebody that wants to take you down. I've it, It's something that we talk about all the time on this channel. And I think if you want to see a real live fight in MMA where a fighter demonstrates the benefits of facing a grappler in this way, definitely watch this fight. If you didn't watch this fight, definitely watch this fight because this fight is going to show you why it is so valuable, in my opinion at least, to, to fight a grappler in that, in that way. And it is it might be counterintuitive uh, in the sense that if you were to just think about it in your head, it seems very dangerous, right? Like, hey, if I'm pushing forward against the grappler, doesn't that leave me wide open for the grappler to 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 lower their, their level and take me down easily? Um, well, that is if you're facing George St. Pierre. If you're facing GSP, if you're facing someone like Chad Mendez, if you're facing a wrestler that does a very, very good job of ducking underneath your strikes very, very quickly, exploding into the pocket, and they also have the skill to finish the takedown. And, dude, I'm going to tell you guys, man, not a lot of wrestlers have that skill, bro. Not a lot of wrestlers have that skill. You got to think about the sport of wrestling. A lot of these guys, they come into the, into the sport of MMA, and they have a lot of wrestling under their belt. You got to think about the way wrestling actually works in the, in the sport of wrestling. When they start, a lot of times... They're very, very close to each other in a very, very low stance. That This is the stance they start. Then there's hand fighting. And then from hand fighting, they start applying their shots. Of course, depending on the, on the rule set. But for the most part, wrestlers, they start very, very close to each other in a very, very low stance. MMA doesn't, sta doesn't start that way. The sport of MMA, you both start far from each other in a more upright stance, right? And so for the wrestler to actually get to you, especially if they're shooting doubles and singles and stuff like that, they have to lower their level, then they have to close the distance, then they have to make contact with you, and then they have to finish the shot, right? The process of getting to the shot in MMA is more complicated than the process of getting to the shot in wrestling. In wrestling, no one's throwing knees at you, no one's throwing elbows at you, no one's throwing uppercuts at you. You're not worried about that at all. All you're worrying about is hand fighting, clearing hands, making sure that you have an opening to shoot. And your opponent in wrestling has to stay close to you, right? If your opponent in wrestling is running away from you and making too much space, well, they get a penalty. You can't do that. You have to stay close to each other. And so this is why in a sport of MMA, when you are pressuring the wrestler, right, that wants to take you down and you're flashing knees at them, you're flashing uppercuts at them, it is not that comfortable for the wrestler to close the distance, lower their level, make contact with you, and finish the shot. It is a very difficult thing for them to do. And in this fight, Ricky Simone, he had a really, really hard time um, actually closing the distance closing the distance in a wrestling sense to take down uh, Song Yudong. Now, someone like George St. Pierre, GSP has said this multiple times. What allowed him to perform his takedowns the way he did is not really wrestling. What wrestling did was wrestling allowed GSP to finish the shot. But GSP's karate is what allowed GSP to close the distance as quickly as he was able to do, make contact with you, and then that's when the wrestling actually starts. But then if you're pressuring the wrestler, you're, first of all, you're, 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 you're forcing him to back up, right? You're forcing the wrestler to back up. When he goes to shoot, you flash a knee. So that puts in his mind, oh my God, this dude is looking for a knee. You flash uppercuts, which is exactly what Song Yedong was doing. Flashing uppercuts, flashing knees, constantly attacking him. And so it puts in the mind of the wrestler, bro, I, I, don't, I don't have the shot. The shot is not there. Anytime I go to lower my level, there's something coming at me. I don't, I don't have the shot. I'm, it, it's scary. There is no room for me to shoot. You know what I mean? And this was a this fight demonstrated that so 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 well, and um, 
I, I, I wish someone like Edson Barboza would approach it that way, right? Like if you watch Edson Barboza and you compare him to like someone like Song Yedong, to, to the way Song Yedong fought, um, Barboza will run, you know, he'll back up and circle and try to get back to the center. Um, it has worked out for him that he was he was able to time beautiful freaking knees against wrestlers, but he's also had fights where the the grappler was able to completely dominate him. You know, Habib was able to dominate him. Um, Kevin Lee was able to dominate him with wrestling. Someone like uh, Tony Ferguson was able to dominate him with with, with wrestling. We've seen that happen before. Um, in general, I just think if the wrestler is gonna get you down, he'll get you down either way. He'll get you down either way, right? So why make it easier for the wrestler, right? The easiest way for a wrestler to take you down is if he's the one moving forward, if he's the one dictating when he gets to shoot, if he's super comfortable, he's not really worried about strikes coming back at him, he gets to take his time to set up his shot beautifully. You might as well make him uncomfortable. You might as well back him up. You might as well force him to take bad shots because, hey, who knows? He might run into a knee. And if you're forcing him to take bad shots, it's also easier to see the shots coming. And that is what Song Yedong demonstrated in this fight very, very well. Um, every single round was pretty much the same, right? He just brutalized him on the feet, landed beautiful shots, and in the fifth round, got him out of there with a beautiful left hook, sat him down, finished him on the ground. Really good stoppage by uh, Herb Dean. So, um... Again, if you guys want to see an example of, of this in action in real life MMA, definitely check this fight out. It literally just happened. Check it out. Um, and you guys are really going to enjoy it. Um, Luke Rockhold versus Mike Perry is about to happen in, in bare knuckle boxing. I'm going to try to check that one out. And the next video is going to be on that. I'm going to try to release that tonight as well. So thank you for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the, the UFC fight card. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about it. And I'll see you guys uh, in an hour or so. Peace out.